All the hours of practice and preparation, they are done. They've been replaced by the nerves and excitement. Careers will be made, highlight reels will be formed. This is where champions are made. that is finals football. The stakes are about to be raised in Super Rugby 2019. What a way to kick off quarterfinals weekend as the Crusaders take on the Highlanders in the great Southern Derby. Such a history of success in these knockout phases. 27 wins, just 10 defeats in 18 trips to the postseason. 21 and 0 at home. They've never lost a knockout game to the Highlanders. History is, of course, just that history. But it's a powerful history and it must count for a lot as the Crusaders walk out in front of their home fans and there are a lot of them here in the stadium tonight to greet Sam Whitelock and his team. Biggest match of the season to date. It's well, we the there. Crusaders and the Highlanders. A place in the semi-finals of Super Rugby 2019 at stake. It's Richie Moonga who kicks off quarterfinals weekend in Super Rugby. Ball clearing to Franks. Quickly through the hands, being knocked away though by one of the Highlanders players. Going back, George Bridge. He's won the starting left wing spot ahead of Braden Enor. Referee was playing advantage, it's over now. Moonga taking it just over halfway, but uh, in fact, they will come back for the penalty. He's got a deliberate knock on, and so an early chance for the Crusaders to force the issue. And he struck it very well. Good start for the Crusaders. Good start for Richie Moonga. It's 3 0 in Christchurch. Well, coming through the middle is Tom Franklin. Real issues at line-out time. And the Highlanders go back onto the attack again, waiting for it as Whitelock. This is Luke Whitelock goes hard at his brother, puts him on the deck. That's not the first time that's happened. Wide they go. And Thompson slips the fifth. Oh. Gets a great ball away to Smith. And they're in the corner. First try of the night goes to the Highlanders. Whitelock coming forward. They go to Douglas and they set it for the drive at the line. They've got it under control. Now the Highlanders holding them up. Kieran Reid has it now. Going sideways. So they'll have to release it. Hall. Long and now. Oh, beautiful pass away to Havili. And he's in between the posts. Switching right to left, left to right, and Barrett now. Hall digging it out, gives it to Todd quickly through the hands. Now here's a chance to free it up for George Bridge. Beautiful off right to Douglas, and Long is in. Crusaders get their second try, it's Richie Long up. Oh, that was so good. And Makaleo finds White Lock. Another chip kick through, and more scramble at the back. Moonga, oh, he's pitched a try here. He's just taken it away from Marty Banks. Second half shutout. 21 un unanswered points, 38-14 the final score. One's already through to the semi-final. This is the other side of it. The Chiefs, they travel to the Jaguares, who've been impressive this season. So. Thoroughly deserved their home quarter final. And it will be the Chiefs with first use of the ball. The kickoff is long. Fred Webber. Oh, oh, oh. 
Tom Foul, but the ball's lost in the tackle. And now Gawadis straight away with the ball. Sean Stevenson with a tackle. Ball's out. There's Sola Kula. Good timing and a good read. But look at the power of Argent. Gawadis from Argentina. No, Justin. Need to stay calm. Gawadis. And put the Chiefs under pressure. Turnover inside their own corner, and they pay the Chiefs with Martella, Weber, Debrasini goes at the line. Debrasini, there's a player taken off the ball. Adron now, Sawakula. Adron was taken off the ball without the ball. Why now he carries the game? Brad Weber. Big dummy from Brad Weber, looking for a play back on the inside. Both shells under the post, the Chiefs. Inside the five now, Buffelli. Inside the two, Cubelli. Kremer, met by Sam Kane. Cubelli. Now they go long, Matera, with a draw and pass on the left side, Moroni. It's going to come around closer to the post. Disciplined, patient, and professional at the end. The Hagawadis, good try. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely outstanding from the Hagawadis. They've picked up the momentum now. They realise the urgency of the situation. Again, they go to the edge. They've got a two-on-one. Now Buffelli and the wraparound on Lando. Ball's promoted in the tackle for Buffelli. And a quick recycle. Penalty only. Another smart recycle. They go hard and direct at the Chiefs' defence line. Cubelli, they've got a penalty advantage. Diaz Bonilla plays ball, they come back for the penalty. They've stepped it up to Hagawadis. What they have is exceptional as he knocks it over. They have turned a 10 8 deficit at half time. 21-16 in front. As you have a look at this, the Chiefs, well, they're just offloading from everywhere. Opportunities galore to score. But how about the heart and the defensive effort here from the Aguares? They could so easily have conceded three tries in the last couple of minutes, but they found something special. They're just outside their own corner now. McKenzie. Aiden Ross. Tahu Diarangi. Anton in a brown. That's a good tackle. Back inside their own 22. There's the penalty. They will win the game. This is an historic achievement for the Hagawadis. It's a special moment for their fans. They will host a home semi final. Magical scenes, isn't it? Aguares, a well-deserved victory in semi-finals. But look at that. There's no one to celebrate with in there, but... Welcome to Westpac Stadium in Wellington. This is quarterfinal number three. The Crusaders and Hagawares are through. Which team is next? The hometown Hurricanes welcome the Bulls back to knockout rugby. with the throw, tipped by Schneeman. As the Hurricanes put a little bit of pressure on. Out to midfield, and Creel straight through. Delaney's pass for Hallett, chased down by Barrett. 
And I think he scored. Yes, he did. Got it down. What a good try for the Bulls. And Lamb steps out of a few, as he's prone to do. Bodies all over the place for Terranara. Away for Bowden Barrett. Now Coles gets it away to Geordie Barrett, who made a Jensen in space. Now Horson had to haul it in and gets it off to Terranara. And the little halfback scores. Now Perinara working blindside and Lamb's on his way to the line and Ben Lamb gets the second. As Pollard floats a kick across field, clever kick, but it didn't sit up. The bounce of the rugby ball wasn't kind. Quickly taken here by Barrett. Perinara is bounced to his feet again. And here's Ray Arce playing and Ray Arce straight up the middle. Now Bowden Barrett brings it out. He's got Geordie with him. Doesn't need him though. And he's banged it straight down the centre of the park. Awkward bounce. Oh. Pollard left it behind. And now there's a chance. Here's Princep. Right near the 22 Bulls territory. As Perinara. Away for Lau Marpi. Blackpool. Ray Arce got a beautiful pass away. Evans still on his feet, Gareth Evans. He got it away as well. Now Perinara. And Ray Arce's going to score another one. So here we go again. Stay there. Back, back, back. Now it starts to wheel. Another advantage. And off they go. Oh, dear. Trouble here, too. They're going to play on. So Hendricks. Hang on, guys. This could be yellow. Yeah, it will be yellow, no doubt about that, Grant. But the lesson is you keep playing, don't you? No whistle. I think it's a penalty try. Yeah, I'm thinking that too, a penalty try, because that was. Yeah, okay, number. So, Ray is the last right. defender. And Ermanga Jensen, I don't think, is getting there. Yeah, thanks, mate. Okay, I got a decision. This is going to be a penalty try. Okay, that'll be a penalty try. Got it, Cardi, sorry. Penalty try, boys, 23. Penalty try and a yellow card. There's Warner, swings it away. Pollard's going to put another flat kick in for Hendricks. Hendricks now, and he beats a man, and Hendricks scores in the corner. What a good try that is. Number two for Cornell Hendricks. Can't turn it over, though. Ball still there for Funsale. Spins it wide. His knee goes to the ground. Big defensive effort here from the Hurricanes. Savi is almost over it. Has to let it go though. Now to Snayman. Van Sale spins it away again. Halant. Halant gets the pass around. Hendricks drops it. Can you believe it? Cornell Hendricks. One of the stars of the game has dropped the ball. And the final whistle goes. Hurricanes go to the semi-final. It's quarter-final time in Canberra. The prize is a semi-final appearance in Buenos Aires next weekend. Australia's top team in 2019. The Brumbies up against the Durban-based Sharks. The Brumbies haven't lost a GIO Stadium since week one. Can they chalk up another victory in front of their faithful? This is a coming off a dramatic cut from behind win over the Stormers in Cape Town last week. They left it till after the siren to steal it. They've featured in the playoffs for the past three seasons, six of the last eight years, and they are still searching for that elusive Super Rugby title. They've won three of the past four against the Sharks. They've never lost a playoff game to South African opposition. Tackle! Go, 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 go! Falaf Anger, can he add to his 11 tries for the season? Lea Leofano and Sio Simoni Kurandrani. And Kozi hangs on. Arnold inside ball. Sabo takes Arnold over the 22. This 
This is a sensational start for the Brumbies. And he goes to Carter. Good two-handed take. Lele Afano, flat pass, Simone. Up to halfway. Powell. CO gives it inside to Banks and he holds on. Tom Banks, out it goes to Arnold and now Spate. Henry Spate for the corner, you little beauty. Another one. Another five pointer. And he hands it back to Two Black. Samu. Well, Christian Lilifano in there with Ero Simone. There's the try. Pete Samu, number two. He has got a double. Another. Try for the rolling ball for the Brumbies. So Brown, and now, oh, oh. Powell! Joe Powell! He'll go all the way. Oh, just when they needed a spark, Powell's caught the napping. So Lucas, Donald McInerney is out there. So too is Liz, Leia Lua, Ely Macon. Simone, the inside ball to Banks. Wonderful stepping, and he's got a man on the inside. Lucas. It is Matt Lucas. He'll go all the way. And the Brumbies are stampeding at GIO Stadium in Canberra. They're on their way to Buenos Aires for the semi final. And then there were four. Hello, everyone. It's semi-final time in Super Rugby. It's the Jaguars at home in Buenos Aires hosting the top Aussie side in 2019, the Brumbies. Both won their conferences and the men from Argentina are hoping to advance through to their first ever decider, while the Brumbies hope to reach their first final since 2013. What a special moment it is for Christian Leoliafano to lead the Brumbies out in his 150th game. 19 test matches. The Brumbies, after losing their first four games on the road, they've turned things around and they've won three of their past four. And the locals, well, they're pretty excited about this one. It's going to be Geronimo De La Fuente to lead the home team out first in the South African Conference, first ever semi-final, coming off that hard-fought five-point win over the Chiefs at this venue last week. It's almost party time before kickoff. Oh, how good is that? What a run out from the Jaguares. Jaguares pack goes to the front. Advantage. Advantage is being played here for the Jaguares. Bubelli looking for runners. And finds the Matera. Back and now they chip through. Oh, and they leave it behind. And here's an opportunity for the home team. It looked pretty good. High shot there. Fairly handy position for Diaz Bonisha. The crowd likes it. So the men with the flags. Six metres out. Taken by Lavanini. Raby has it at the back, and here we go. Finally goes to ground just short. Dela Fuente can't get there. Kubeli goes in digging. Aguari's looking for their second try. Petty pull down. No shortage of runners. And the try has been scored again. The evasive skills there from Sebastian Pinceliati. Taken by Arnold. They set it up. Might like, not a look like poetry in motion, but to these forwards it is. Vardy just being played. Arnold. Good defence. Penalty advantage. The Caffrey. Chance here, the Brumbies. Step. 
For anger, he's getting close, spinning around, and he gets it down! There on the line. Corbelli. Happy for the forwards to have a rumble. Noel Tito Shaparo. Fuente. Got it out to Orlando, straight through. Oh, he has got a double! Open them up brilliantly. Matias Orlando. Lua Ely Macon. McInerney. Lucas. Leo Leofano tries a short kick this time. And, yeah, it's there for the Hagwaris. And now they'll look to make them pay through Emiliano Boffelli. And he runs the Hagwaris into an historic first ever Super Rugby decider. And, yes, it's celebration time. In Buenos Aires for the Jaguars of Argentina. First ever semi final at home. And they've done it, leading by 20 points to seven at half time. Jaguars have beaten the Brumbies 39 points to seven. Well, Guido, first of all, congratulations. The first time in the final uh, match of the Super Rugby. Congratulations. How does it feel? Thank you so much. We knew, we knew uh, it was just an opportunity. And we took it, I think, from the first minute we went to the match uh, to take it. Is this a dream come true for you? Yes, of course. Uh, we have a, a match next week. Uh, maybe we have it here again. So we'll see. And nah, the best for Jaguares. Thank you very much, Guido. Thank you so much. Welcome back to Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch. The Hawaris are through to the Super Rugby Final next weekend. Who will join them tonight? We find out. Will it be the Crusaders or the Hurricanes? and we're underway in the semi-final and down it goes as far as James Blackwell Perinara away for Walker Leaweri and now back for the clearing kick made by Bowden Barrett all three Barretts involved tonight of course Scott for the Crusaders Geordie and Bowden for the Hurricanes Cody Taylor throws quickly. And Scott Barrett it is who takes it in. And immediately they set up a drive. Taylor holding in the back. Swirling around all over the place here. And, a, and they get a penalty. As it's dragged down. So the early penalty goes the way. Of the Crusaders. Well First chance for points tonight. And Moonga's kick is good. And so the Crusaders have a 3 0 lead after a couple of minutes. halfway and then ripped away by Bridge and he's found some space and now Crotty and here's some space for Sebu Reese. It's only got to stay in the field of play. What a great pick up. Oh. 
So here's Adi Savia first. Goes in, good body position, in over the ball. Gets his hands on it. Moanga to add to the lead. And up go the flags. 13 points to nil. Crusaders desperately defending their line here as Perinara goes wide for Jordi Barrett. Real chance. Now Marpi! Now Marpi scores. So now Marpi is still there as the Hurricanes win the first line out of the second half. Barrett takes it to the line and straight into a big gap goes Fructa looking to offload. Hasn't they managed to free it up yet. Now here's Lamb, steps clean over the top of Goodhue. And now Perinara hands it up for Savia. Ball comes loose and going sideline, and Lamb's going in. Lamb scores in the corner. Well, it opened up for him. Now back for Bowden there. Just hammers it away down the middle of the park where it finds Moanga. And he jabs a little one in behind. Marshall anticipating he's overrun it. Here's trouble. And Moanga's going to score under the posts. He unloads it to Hall. And now out wide, a real chance here. Coles makes a hell of a tackle. And now here's Prop and he's now Murphy. Ball knocked down. See what happens. Who knocked it down? That's the question. Well, now Marpy says bounced off my chest. So let's see. And he he re he thinks it came off his chest. You can see there it did hit him in the chest. Does it touch his hand? And just freeze there now and back to the referee. I reckon please. he's done this on purpose. So a second try for Nani Laumapi. White block takes it over the line. Drummond again. Reed for Todd. Got it away to Tafur. Now Enor. Reese, they've got a real chance here. Seven Reese scores another one. goes again. Princey. Bowden Barrett again takes it hard to the line. It's there again for Piranara. Now Marpy works and away and Dane Coles. Coles charging five metres short. Leaves it behind. Here's big Ben May now on the park. Piranara sells the dummies. be the last scrum of the game. There goes the siren. Reed, Drummond, Moana puts it in the touch. And the Crusaders go to another final. swing in this game the Crusaders totally dominant in the first half went into that shed quite comfortable but in the second half the Hurricanes came out they exploded out of the tunnel from there it was tit for tat plenty of exciting rugby lots of sensational tries and there has to unfortunately be a loser on the day the Hurricanes can be proud of the efforts this evening the Crusaders go much their way to another final this game had absolutely everything. How did this game compare to the other matches that you've played this season? They, they do or die, so um, they're tough. Uh, you know, I think um, e everyone uh, out here tonight is pretty knackered. Um, there's sore bodies, uh, guys with ice on already, um, guys in slings and stuff. So 
Um, we're going to have to have a good look at the, the injury count and um, we've got a great medical staff and hopefully they can get them ready to go again next week. Welcome back to Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch. The sold out sign is up in the Garden City and it's a perfect night for rugby as the Crusaders host their friends from Argentina, the Juarez. Well, is this their moment to create history and secure their first title in Super Rugby? The Crusaders, well, they date with destiny tonight as they search for their second Super Rugby 3 p It's a final appearance for so many Crusaders faithful and they've one last celebration at home. Crusaders will come out first, winning 13 of 18, but most importantly, winning the quarterfinal over the Highlanders and last week's semi-final over the Hurricanes, which puts them in yet another final. Their 14th. Now the men from Argentina, like the Crusaders, they've had 13 wins this season. But something that they have been able to do, Justin Marshall, is win away from home. Yes, they've been able to get across that obstacle this year. They are dangerous on the road. They are here for this final. They are determined. They will bring everything that they've got. You can see the way that they're entering into this game. Out of the tunnel, they will explode and they will give it everything they've got. And the culmination of the 219 Super Rugby season. So, the countdown is on. Richie Moanga with the ball, and the final is underway as Moanga gets us started. After 15 minutes, another kick coming here from Brunhall. Diaz Benicia, and he down he goes. And this could be a more. Here turned over his mate. He's been turned over here. Sam Whitelock in a bit of space. Got it away to Taylor. Cody Taylor. Best try of the final. Absolutely out of nowhere as well. First kick tonight for Richie Mwonga as he attempts the conversion and brings it round nicely. So it's a seven-pointer for the Crusaders and they lead after 26 minutes. Tetas Chaparro. Du Valley. Really testing this Crusaders defense. Here's Venetia again. Bofelli. Matera. Got his pass away cleverly. Here's an opportunity. And very close was Moroni, and he lost it. Now here's Whitelock. Moanga shovels it out as far as Douglas. Making good ground, Fetu Douglas. Here's Hall. Leave it and a penalty. Well, they've been rewarded, the Crusaders. And they're going to get a shot at goal to end the half. Moana. just before half time and he does land the extra three points and the players head to the sheds at the end of 40 minutes in the final and the Crusaders have the lead by 10 points to three
Good ball retention as Cabelli gets it away and uh, frees it up for Moroni. And the right winger puts the little kick in. Looks as though to get it back through the pass. It's loose. And Goodhues grabbed it, but I think he's taken it back. Yes, he has. Oh, wow, that was very spectacular. Only four metres away as it goes for Dunshay. And the big lock ploughs up Paul again. The Moody hit hard. Reed. Franks now. Under advantage. Taylor tries to make some ground. Now here's Moanga. Pop the pass up for Hall. But he's well controlled. Still the advantage carries on. Dunshade fights his way a couple of metres. Ball again. Ball knocked down. And they'll take the penalty. Next to the ruck. Against the Hawari is offside. One of the front rowers offside next to the ruck. Number three. Really interested in Sam Whitelock's mentality here. He has tended to go for the jugular in these occasions all season. And look, why why would your mindset change? I really enjoy his captaincy. I, I love his positivity and the quick tap. Here they go. Now, can the referee see it? Let's have a look. Can anybody see it? He's searching in there. And he's going to have to go upstairs. No. I can't see the ball. Can't see the ball on the ground. Can't see the ball, so he's going to yeah, bit. call on Ben Skeen. As he was falling to ground, one of the Haguaris have gone underneath him. I think it's a spare leg, Marsha. You're right, it is. Todd, so he balls up there. Legs, hasn't touched the ground. Good call, Yucca Popper. Yucca, stick with your on-field decision. Yeah, nothing can lose Correct. Your ball, over the goal line. Your ball. First touch then for Mitchell Drummond. Big scrum here. And the scrum has come up. This will be a penalty. At least a penalty. And yeah. just going to go for the penalty. Second penalty goal tonight for Richie Moonga. tonight for Richie Mwonga and he has nailed it what a good kick that is oh. it's been hard earned for the Crusaders the Hawaiians have been Goes though, and they're going to get a penalty as a hand came in there. So, all it needs now is for the ball to be kicked into touch. Celebrations have started already, and into touch it goes, and the Crusaders win a tenth title. Crusaders as they have won the 
the Super Rugby title for the third time on the bounce. Your 2019 Super Rugby champions, the Crusaders.